All right, boys, good luck and have fun. Looks like we actually are having one person missing on Team Red. Hopefully, whoever they're missing will get in here ASAP, whoever's the last person standing. And good luck and have fun, everybody. Wait, can you actually stay on the outside? Or once you get in the arena, you're stuck? What happens if you stay up there for the rest of the time? Like, what's stopping you from staying? Because you can't really... It doesn't look like you can really jump up. Weird. It looks like it is going to be Furious Hard up first. Who's going to be Team Blue? We got ourselves actually a decent variety of players still. I didn't see the DK there before. Was he there before? All right, boys. Whenever you guys want to do it. Whoever wants to do it. Whoever, uh, I'm actually dying right now. I guess you are. You die if you stay up there. Oh, it zaps you. There it is. You guys saw that? It zapped my character. So it does zap you if you stay up there. It does kill you. Interesting. Interesting. You better have your tank items off. I almost want to have uh, I almost want to have these guys somebody else duel each other cuz these guys were dueling each other last time and it fucking took forever. Going to be charged out of DJ onto Fury. Trying to get some damage in. It's going to go for some asteroid bonus. I don't even know what bonus is going to go for. Shrek it leaps out of it maintaining his health for now. That's going to be Fury Star with a mallet. Get him hit with a mallet. No reflect available. Needs to go for mass healing. That is going to be Fury to DJ. Is going to land a charge heal on him. No, not going to be able to connect that heal. I think he's still get a little bit later after the Berserker's Rage. Try to see if he can get a little bit of healing. That is going to be spikes happening at DJ. Taking 15% more damage. Fury... Is gonna go massive damage, big absorb, or big something. I don't even know what kind of ability it is, but he's literally emanating as right from every orifice that is gonna be stunned onto DJ as he had his wreck, uh, reach. God, enraged regeneration up and running. This actually looks like it's gonna be Fury getting his own enraged regen up and running right now. Try to see if he can get DJ Derpy as he's getting closer to the execute range. Try to save off the damage for now. Fury is back up to full health. DJ is still trying to see if he can recover little by little, but his health is not really doing that good. Next setup, Fury has with a stun could put him down into the dirt. That's gonna be stun luck coming down right now into DJ. Gonna have small asteroid traits shielding him. Big roar coming out. The next step is gonna be Jinshu. Up next, another Xanda. Or no. Jinshu is a human. Wait, he's confused? Is he lagging? No idea what happened. Yeah, who's up next? It is like it was gonna be Mia Khalifa up next as Unholy DK. Gonna get the dots up and running onto Fury. That's gonna be Root coming down. I wonder if that thing zaps you. Actually, Mia, can you put him close? I want to see if it's actually Zaps. It's going to be stunned onto Fury's Tower. No trigger available for quite a bit. Going to get all the A-bombs and all the undeads rolling. Fury coming in onto Mia. We're going to be a massive leap. And it looks like the pet for Mia is kind of sort of uh, hitting through LOS in a sense. No, 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 he's not. It just looked like he was hitting through LOS. I guess he already had a precast available prior. Fury is just going to be lighting side of Mia the whole time. That is going to be Death and Decay on one side, A bomb on the other. A bomb still doing a fair amount of damage. Mia finally can poke out. Looks like both of his pets are dead. Fury actually eliminated both of his pets. He's going to get the pet up and running. There's going to be Apocalypse coming in with the army rolling up. There's going to be IBF off of that stun. Is he going to go for maybe some big Azeroth? Right? Looks like he is playing the. Is that the gloves effect or is that the weapon effect? Not quite sure. I was really hoping these guys wouldn't have him on. Yo, can we redo? Yo, just redo. Blazer in your group, just leave, man. It's gonna be Killigen. Try to roll on to her. Zap is gonna get that. Uh, whatever it is. She wave rolling right now. It's gonna be Prime Elemental coming out a little bit early. Try to get some slow into Killa. Killa is gonna get some dots rolling. Try to see if we can slow into Zap. Looks like Zap is not gonna be stopped. Gonna get the images. That's gonna be Tiger's Lust. It's gonna go for Fist of Fury with a touch. Does Zap is gonna go for a healer trink trinket. It's gonna absorb healing and damage. I guess. I'm kinda kinda sad that you're using that, but I guess it's okay. Lightning allows it to fall. It's gonna get zapped. Tri Force the trick it out of killer. It's gonna go for that incap into a hex. It's actually gonna be very DR'd. Can't, uh, you shouldn't incap into a hex. Maybe a stun into a hex. But that doesn't look like it's gonna go into his favor. It's gonna be Meteor coming in for onto Killer Gen's face. Looks like Zap. Did he get a random elemental again? Or was that the first time? Is the elemental a cooldown? Or is that a random elemental that he gets? 
Is that his Azerite trait? It looks like he's gonna be massive shield coming in for Killogen. Did he decide to go with the Azerite trait that reduced the damage by 40%? With a fairly short cooldown. Fist of Fury trying to see if he can lock down Zap. But it's going to be light to the last. It's going to be burning through his health quite a bit. Zap, though, not looking all that bad quite yet. Is playing for the long game. Going to go for a Storm Keep right now. Vivify is coming in. He's going to get double Lightning Bolt. Coming out right now. Killer Gen is going to go for Spring Crane Kick. This is going to knock back. Looks like Zap is actually playing Tank Trinkets. I'm a little bit disappointed in you, Zap. Oh, Killer Gen is playing Tank Trinkets. Okay, boys. I see how it is. We're scumming it. I. I was really hoping nobody would use tank trinkets here. But it looks like we're scumming it. Killigen is invulnerable for the duration of the chicken, but he's gonna be going down. Looks like Lightning Lasso is coming out. It's actually taking some damage. It's gonna be armor coming in from the Azerite thing. And he's gonna go for a uh, port back towards the pillar. Is gonna get some damage. Fist of Fury coming down to Zap Zap. He's just gonna slow down, throw down the slow totem. He's gonna jump into Ghost Wolf. Incredible amount of healing for the Shaman. But double chain tank, tank trick, and I guess that will do it for you. Zap is going to give him some healing surge. Fist of Fury to follow. Try to see if he can suppress his uh, Fist of Fury or his uh, heals with Fist of Fury. Life Blast to separate these two. Killjoy just drop very, very low. Could go for a Karma if he needs to. He's going to use that Tay Healer Trinket as well. Decided, you know what? I need to use it. This is my last chance. I do want to go scumming it. I could go Karma off that. He's going to go for a Karma right after the Zap. is not going to do damage on him. He's just going to go into Ghost Wolf, but he is low health. If Killjoy has a setup, if he has the images, maybe if he has a touch of death, he could maybe try to go for it. Zap was to do does really want to go get a knockback onto killer does he have a way to get back up does dragon kick back up there on top of zap gonna go for fist of fury zap gonna take a bit of damage ghost wolf like the last drink inside of it we're only dragon punches for all that's gonna be the one trying to help him out sun coming in but primal earth elemental does zap have enough to live this is having enough enough health he's gonna have enough healing that's gonna be second wall out of that earth elemental right now yeah elemental is actually giving him a shield second wall available whenever he needs it he's gonna pop an earth bind totem and continue to run away. What is this? Healing out of an elemental shaman. Incap coming out. Touch it up to follow. Does he have enough to finish him? Fist of Fury in him right now. One that available is going to go for the scum healer trinket. Onto the touch of death. Into a lightning lasso. Onto killer gen. Zap barely has any health. Not going to be able to heal for a little bit. That's going to be very fights for killer gen. Zap is going to go for healing surges. It looks like it is going to be Fury's heart getting in there just to kill off Zap. Thank God somebody is doing it. Just kill the Shaman so we can get an next duel going. Shaman goes down. Who's next versus killer gen? Go, Alliance, go. Is Alliance here? 33% damage, boys. Somebody get in there, man. Take out Killigen right now. That shaman had to go, dude. He had a tank chicken and everything. We should have probably had people kill that shaman off the bat. It looks like it is going to be Rot... Uh, Roar? Rotney? Roar is going to get a root onto Killer. I don't know if he actually got the root off. The Killigen DC? Is he back? He is back. It's going to be Breath. Looks like the... Root didn't happen. It's gonna be greater power blast onto Killer Gen right now. Rodney trying to go for some damage. It's gonna get a group uh blink away. Gonna go for a matter to kill gen. Actually getting kind of low. Scorches to follow. Karma will be kill if he needs to. That was a lot of damage out of Mickey though. Incredible amounts of damage. Fire blast to follow. Barely has any health. It looks like no karma will, but it's gonna go for the tank trinket. Killer gen, come on. He's actually trying to vivify himself. That whatever mastery damage that Rotney has on him is actually gonna do damage. He tried to heal through that tank trick, it's not gonna happen. Rotney should have some damage available. Does he see him? Palmer tried to land, not gonna be able to get it. Should go to kill a like killer gen, but looks like killer gen is gonna catch a full reheal. Rotney doesn't want to get in there. For some reason, he had him in the palm of his hand. He had him in that execute range. Literally ate to sneeze at him. He could have blinked in and did enough damage, but looks like he's just gonna give killer gen a bail to. I guess he's just gonna get like Killigen get full reheal. Not really sure what he is going for. I don't understand some of you guys, oh, especially those guys on the EU that let somebody else just get a full reset. Try to get back up. It's gonna be an interesting position into that ice block. Killigen has the images up on our road and you just pop your defenses, I guess, at random. Because I don't really know what he ice blocked there. Greater Pirate coming out at Killigen. Why is. Oh, trick is out of it. Stun coming in onto Rotney, does take him out. I don't even know what killed him. He looked like he had a fair amount of health and just got zapped. Out of nowhere. Does this arena just do like random damage to people or something? Because it looked like he got zapped from the top. Maybe it's some kind of a trait that Killigen has and zaps somebody with lightning. I could be wrong. Who's up next? Is it going to be Mickey? I think it is going to be Mickey. Trying to see if we can get some damage into Killigen. 
I think the Azroid... Oh, it looks like he does use the Azroid cast trade. Goes for a Pyroblast after. Looks like he gets basically a free Pyroblast. His next trade is going to do so much damage with 100% crit for Mickey. That could be incredible amounts of damage. We'll see if he ends up going for it. Let's see if he ends up doing it. This should be on the 30 second cooldown. He already got two stacks of it already. Then third one should do quadruple the damage with combustion. It should be a 100% crit guarantee. If he gets a pyroblast and that ability as well as G-Pi, that could be a ton of damage. It's going to go for another. It does hit Killigen. Killigen is going to use for that trinket. 54% damage. It does reduce the effectiveness of the trinket. That's going to be Tiger's Lust off the bat. It's going to get hit with an in-cap. Trinket's out of that in-cap. Trying to breath kill it. Killigen's going to go for stun onto Mickey right now. Ice block coming in a little bit early. Again, ice block's coming in. Very, very questionable ice blocks, but I guess he uh, makes the bed. And he's going to lay in a karma available for Killy if he needs to. Is going to karma this damage back into Mickey. Does Mickey have enough damage after that karma to make it happen? Is going to get a temporal rolling. 57% dampening because the first though to suck way too goddamn long. Mickey is going to get a couple of grand pilots. Can he actually finish him off? Killjin is going to pop a defensive for himself. Does Mickey have enough? He has him in the palm of his hand. Big defensive for Killjin. That's going to be a card race too. Mickey, do you have enough to end? Do you have enough to finish? The Scorches are coming out. Barely lands the Scorches. Does get himself a shield up and running as the card race does take down on him. And he's actually going to drop a meteor on the side way too far away from Killjin. He's not going to push in, trying to go for some food, and Killigen is going to try to attack as soon as he's trying to get some food. Breath coming in, Mickey does actually end up killing Killigen. Thank God we have a mage that actually decided, you know what, I'm actually going to press my buttons. Because I feel like I'm watching, I'm like, ah, uh, wait, is that a new? Got himself a nice new table. That actually looks kind of nice. Mickey does take him out. Who's up next? It looks like it's going to be Brex or somebody. Maybe Brex? No, let's, uh, Brex. Oh, holy shit, what did he hit him with? Is Brex gonna play? Brex! Okay, I think he is gonna let the rogue play. Yeah, you guys, if somebody had just attacks, you might as well just do it, man. Because we've been wait. I mean, it feels like we were wait taking too long with Zap to wait there. We were waiting for way too long with that duel. You know what I mean? So you guys about to get out of man. 65% dampen. You're not gonna be able to heal for a ton. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to heal for a ton, at least for now. Mickey is gonna get Garoted on. Goes down. It looks like it is gonna be Jinchu. Not wasting the time. Does charge at Ethot Slayer. That's gonna be a stun coming in. Blind coming out. Jinchu is gonna check it out. If you're onto Ethot, nothing available. Does Jinchu go for the big damage? Looks like he's gonna control, try to go for some big obliterates. Dropping Ethot to about half. And just not even a few globals. Ethot is gonna get himself a massive damage as well. Back into Jinchu. What is this kind of damage? Actually, obliterating him in a vendetta. And down it goes. Absolutely obliterate. Not sure what happened. But DJ Derp needs to come at Th Ethot Slayer. Does he know that he's doing the rogue? Oh, he thought he's in stealth. I guess it makes sense. Plus, I don't think there's eyes in this platform either. We don't even have eyes, so it's not like he would have a chance to find them. Rogue could literally send the cell the whole time with 74% dampening. I think he's trying to see if he can coax out. Does get DJ to attack him. And this is going to be an actual duel. Loopy is going to go for some beefy damage right now. Big Azure trade. Not even sure what kind of effect he was going to go for. But he's going to actually drop it down DJ. Down to more than half health. Big procs coming on to Loopy though. As DJ is just obliterating through him right now. That Loopy is trying to get some distance with Aspect of the Eagle. Continue to do damage to DJ as best as he can. But it looks like he's going to get locked out and going to get executed. Not even sure exactly what happened. Not sure what happened, chat. I, he just, he had health and he didn't. That's all I got. Yeah, I actually didn't think about the fact that there's no eyes. That is something they need to add into this arena. It looks like they are just letting DJ reheal for a bit. At 79% dampening, I doubt he's gonna get a lot of healing, really. I mean, if anything, you might just be able to get a charge heal. No, just gonna go against Ethod. Gonna go for bits of damage. It's gonna be evasion. Derpy tried to get a Maladic. Not gonna happen. And down he goes. Whoa! Oh, wow. Well. Okay. Weird. Huh. Okay, well that looks weird.